Hey guys, the objective of this video is to look at the typical stress strain diagram for a steel coupon. We're then going to be looking at different cases and their associated equations for elastic, elastic plastic, plastic, which is fully plastic, and a plastic failure. So I'm sure you've seen it before, but just a stress strain diagram for steel, strain and stress. You have an elastic region over here, which then reaches a yield stress. So the uh, material will then yield, which will become plastic. Then you'll reach a particular value, which strain hardening will occur, and you'll finally get your ultimate failure load. Now, we know that elastic means that if we uh, pull the material and it's still elastic, we let go, it's going to come back to its original state. Plastic means that we've pulled it to such an extent that it is uh, uh, no longer recoverable. So that's pretty much the stress strain diagram for a steel coupon. We're now going to be looking at the different cases and their associated formula, and that's going to help us solve the example in the next video. So, case number one is going to be elastic. So we're looking at the elastic properties. So let's just say we have, for example, a simply supported beam subjected to a UDL. So there's our UDL. We know that it's going to deflect something like this. And if there's, a, there's the bending over diagram, that would be WL squared on 8. So we're going to assume that the W is not so high and that the beam is still experiencing elastic deformation. I'm going to be looking at different points. We're going to look at a point mid-span A and a point towards the support B. So the stress diagram for A would look something like this. So it's linear because it's still elastic. And we're going to get a stress diagram like that. At point B, it's also linear, but the stress is going to be a little bit lower. Okay? Because the bending moment's smaller, it means the stress is smaller. But you can see that they're both linear, which means that it's elastic. So there's particular equations associated with elastic. The main one we're going to be dealing with is in the elastic region, the relationship is M equals E I kappa. So this is the moment curvature relationship. So moment is equal to the elastic modulus times the I. <clears throat> I value times the curvature. 